This is your caseworker. She's overworked and underpaid. She knows you've been screwed over, but she's far too afraid to speak out, to speak up, because we'll give her the sack. She's on a short-term contract, once a month contact, 50 client caseload, about to have a heart attack. This is where you'll live. We put you here because it's cheaper for us. It's a long way from the shops, but you can always catch a bus. You know, I believe that there was angels around. And I stood out there, no matter, I had no audience when I first started off preaching. My seat was empty, but I, I knew I had the Lord, and I had to do what I had to do, and that's why I'm here today. I always knew that he must have done something for the war effort, but he had terrible eyesight, and he didn't go to war, and I found out through an interview that was done in the 70s with my father. The authorities came down to the Wentworth to tell him to dismantle everything, you know, for yes, the war effort, normal. and he said, well, you can take down the damn aerials, and they realised that his reception and, and transmission was better than their own. So they gave him an honorary majority and he worked under the radar um, for the war effort. Oh, okay. We're in the manure pit of a battery hen shed. We noticed a pile of corpses and went over and realised there was a hen that was still alive buried amongst the rotting bodies. We removed her from the pile and and uh, she's just died. This is Emma Haswell. She's speaking from inside the Pitts Poultry Battery Shed during a raid she did back in 2007. Most of us would never give people any reason to suspect we have DID. In a lot of cases, it has helped us survive. So by nature, DID is not set up to attempt to attract undue attention to itself. Sometimes I'd come back to awareness in the middle of a situation and just have to figure out where I was and what was going on by listening and observing. I have macular degeneration and I'm legally blind, which means I can see a little bit, but I can't distinguish faces and I can't read. So I find the books on discs fantastic. Hey, the media is starting to really present, uh, you know, a, a, an unfriendly situation for this mob to be arriving in Sydney. And wouldn't it be great to actually, you know, create an event, an opportunity to uh, host and welcome these people as they arrive? As plates smash and eggs crack, my anxieties for cleanliness find me frantically sweeping and vacuuming and mopping and shining and shimmering and falling in a heap of despair when I realise I will never win this war against disorder. A real turning point for Judith Lucy was when she stopped performing in pubs and graduated to theatres and one-woman shows. But 1995 was where I did my first big tour, a show called King of the Road, and that's when I started to go, oh, actually, this is pretty enjoyable when you're not performing to drunk f**kwits. All-in-one music production package, the likes of which had never been seen before. It was one of Australia's greatest inventions, and it changed music forever. Music forever.